Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is May 8th, 2020, Friday. It is 4.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is just a quick check-in on how I'm doing with my mental health and the coronavirus. Um, I'm doing okay. For some reason, I'm very tired today. I don't feel particularly sick. I just didn't get much sleep last night. Um... Over the past two or three nights, I've been tossing and turning, not sleeping very well. And when I don't sleep well, like most people, I don't feel good or energetic during the day. Um, if you're wondering what happened to my face, I cut it while shaving. I used a disposable razor instead of my electric razor, and I used it too fast. And I didn't realize I had even cut myself until I rinsed my face off and took a shower. Um, so I wasn't even aware of that. My face was bleeding, um, but uh, I'm very tired today, very worn out. Um, I'm doing okay, basically. Today is the 8th, I believe on the 14th. I have a telephone conference with my psychiatrist, and on the 11th, I have a telephone conference with my gastroenterologist. Um, I have a tendency when I'm eating food for it to get stuck in my esophagus right in my sternum, not up here where I'm actually choking. Um, but I get food stuck there, and if I try to wash it down with, I don't know, water, milk, whatever, it comes right back up. Um, usually the food ends up going down by itself after like 20 or 30 minutes. But this is happening like once a day now, and it's getting really annoying. And it is to some extent frightening, because if the food could get stuck down here, What's to stop it from getting stuck in my throat where I'm actually choking? Um, so they're going to have to do something about this. Um, the last time this happened, four or five years ago, I was living in Barport, New York, and I was having the same problem. And it stems from my medication, Seroquel, which interferes with the ability to swallow food properly. But I can't stop the Seroquel because it's the only thing that controls my schizophrenia along to some extent with the other medications I'm taking. But uh, when I was in Brockport, they stuck something down my throat. I think they call it dilating the esophagus. They somehow expand my esophagus um, because I have what's called esophageal constrictor um, as well as acid reflux. Um, so I have to talk to my gastroenterologist. A phone visit's not going to be good enough. Eventually, at some point, I'm going to have to go in and get this procedure done on my esophagus. It's not really surgery, it's just something that they stick down your throat and expand the esophagus so food goes down easier. Um, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Like I said before, I have money, I paid my bills, I have food, um, I work online doing consumer surveys, I write poetry, I make videos like this one, I try to get outside and exercise. I didn't go out and exercise today because I felt really tired and I didn't have any energy. Um, there's supposed to be a snowstorm of all things coming across the Northeast, possibly including Rochester over the next couple of days. It's May and if it's still fucking snowing out, that's really irritating because I'm really getting sick of winter weather. Um, it just makes things more difficult. Um, but that's all for now. I'm doing okay. My paranoia is under control. My hallucinations are there, but they're under control. My delusions are there, but they're under control. I'm in control of my behavior. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Press the notification bell so you'll be sure to get my new videos. If you have a topic for a video you want me to do, put it in the comment section. Um, and it really helps me out if you share my videos. Or use them any way you want to, actually. I don't claim copyright on my videos. But share your my videos and use them any way you want to. Um, I don't ask for money to make these videos. Um, so your sharing them does a lot for my channel. So uh, that's all for now.